Then you're the man Steve calls by the book Blake. I'm afraid so. He isn't here right now. Tell me, uh, was that his plane I just saw? Yes. Well, I hope he hasn't started on that job yet. Oh, well, uh... Well, didn't he get my telegram? Oh, yes, he did, but he thought... Oh, look, why don't I signal him down and he can explain? Well, let's hope so. <laughs> Yes, and so I think you better come right down. Over. Okay, honey, be right down. No sweat. Over and out. He'll be right down. Good. I guess you wouldn't like to tell me what this is all about. I guess you wouldn't. No, I prefer like your husband's reading it out. Well, well, oh, by the book. Good to see you again, Lieutenant. <laughs> I was a captain, remember? Oh, that's <laughs> right. They did promote you in spite of everything. Yeah, they did get pretty careless. Look, champ, if you're here to stop me, it's too late. According to the book, once I've started, that's it, right? Great, so. Oh, so what happens now, mechanic? You lose your shirt, Ace. This is your bid, right? Yeah, right. Be a little mistake there, Captain. Oh, now, wait a minute. I've worked all night on this thing. I calculated that area to the square inch. I figured... Oh, your trigonometry was beautiful. And your analytical geometry was magnificent. And your computation of space-volume relationship was positively spine-tingling. <laughs> But you, old dad, flunked dots. What are you talking about? You put the dot behind the wrong zero. This bid says you do the job for two hundred dollars. No, oh, no, two thousand. See right there, two o o. Steve, what's the matter? Is there anything I can do? Yeah, honey, you can put Herschel there up for adoption. I don't think we can afford to raise him. <laughs> now don't lose your fool, Ace. I prepared another bid with all the little decimal points in the right places. You care to sign it? It's just possible that once again, oh, by the book, can save your neck. What do you mean, once again? When did you ever save my neck? Oh, you're right. You're right. You took off before I could pull that faulty oil screen. Oh, now, just a minute, Mr. Blake. Well, Steve told me about that. He blew the hour he needed and collected his flight pay. Yes, ma'am. And we collected him from the middle of the Ohio River when his engine conked out. <laughs> Well, honey, it would have ruined the story. <laughs> so you see, if you use this formula, you can't cut your application prices about seven to nine cents an acre. And it still has enough toxicity, huh? Right. Now, here's something else to remember about making bids. I'm so glad Steve and Bill are getting along. It's a real break having a friend in the department. Steve could have been in a lot of trouble. Good idea stopping by here at Bobby Show. This little snack's just what I needed to build up my strength. And while we're on the subject, you really ought to pay a little more attention to your left flying time. Now, hold it right there, chum. You're telling me about flying. Well, it's time somebody did. Look, it says right here in the book. You've got to at least allow one and three-quarter minutes for each turnaround. Well, then why don't we let the book do the flying? That might not be a bad idea. Hey, fellas, you're not on the front. I mean, why do you always have to fight? Who's fighting? We're just having a business discussion. That's a business discussion? <laughs> well, ma'am, I don't understand things like this. Just like me and Steve the other night, right, partner? Yeah, Joe, right. About the other night. We should never... Uh, now, don't apologize. Sure, you got out of line a little and went off half cock. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Oh, look. Steve and Uncle Joe are going to have a business discussion. <laughs> the what? Right, partner. <laughs> right, partner? I always admire a man that'll admit he's false. <laughs> You know something, honey? What? I must be the world's most pig-headed guy. Steve! Well, I mean it. I'm lucky to have friends that understand me, and most of all, to have you. Sweetheart, you shouldn't worry about that. Well, what if you didn't know what I was like when you met me? What if? Well, I bet you'd have run a mile. <gasps> bet not. Oh, yeah? What would you have done? Want me to show you? Uh-huh. Well, first I'd take your hands like this. 
And then I'd put them around me like this and pull you closer like this. And do you know what I'd say? Darling, will you marry me? <laughs> Junction.